Irish Women's International and you're watching Irish Football Fan TV. Hello and welcome back to Irish Football Fan TV. Today I'm delighted to be joined by Man City and Ireland International. Megan Campbell, first Megan, thank you very much for coming on. Thanks for having me. Um, I just wanted to ask you just a few questions. Um, firstly, how did you come about playing football? What was it that inspired you to start playing and kind of what kept it in the game? Well, I'm uh, one of four girls in the family and I think my dad always wanted a boy and uh, he, he brought me to football when I was about eight and from there it just kicked on. And I've played with boys up until the 14s and then went to girls and thankfully then I got an opportunity um, when I was at the Bob Dart Cup with the under 15s in Ireland and my career just progressed from there and I'm really thankful for where I am right now. Yeah, and when, when was it that you realised that you, 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 well, you were good enough? become professional or did you kind of always feel you were a level above the people around you or anything like that? Uh, no, I wouldn't say a level above but I think I was just really determined and I had a lot of um, I wanted to hit certain goals and stuff and I wanted to progress as much as I could as a kid um, and so then I went from playing in Drogheda where the league wasn't really that great for the girls team at the time to then moving to Dublin to play in so that I could progress my career um, and continue playing and thankfully it, it put, helped push me on. What would be your, your advice to like any kids um, to aspiring to be like yourself or, or any women footballer? Um, what would be your advice to them? Yeah, just to... If you had well, it, had them. Yeah, worstly just to enjoy playing because if you don't enjoy it then you know, you, you're not going to want to continue it as a career. Um, but once you're enjoying it and just taking it seriously, as you get older, take it more seriously and me as a kid I played six and seven sports and so I had to narrow it down to one unfortunately um, but I think I chose the right one so yeah enjoy it and play as many sports as you can but if the time comes where you do have to choose um, and you want to choose soccer then choose it and be passionate about it and you know, continue to work hard. Were your, were your parents a big factor in your, your decision to choose soccer? Uh, yeah I think dad was always a quite a big positive role model in, in my life with that in that respect he was always trying to push me to, to achieve stuff and um, you know, the more I I progressed as a footballer as such, and he wanted to see me doing well, and he brought me places everywhere I needed to go. He brought me to, and mum and my sisters were all supportive behind me as well. So it was always nice to have them uh, behind you. Absolutely, and still, obviously, they're supporting you to this day. Yeah. You know, uh, at the moment, you're out injured. How long have you been out injured? Yeah, uh, nearly four months coming up to. And it was your ACL your damage. Yeah, I tore my right ACL um, last November. So it's been a long road. Five months since the injury, but four months in surgery. So I've got still got a ways to go, but um, I'm starting to see quick progressions, which is quite good. And hopefully I'll be back on the grass very soon. Yeah, I don't want to give anyone a time frame for when you're back. So yeah. when you're back, you're back, I suppose. Yeah. Um, has it been hard for you, you know, watching your teammates? Now, I know like on the men's team, there's uh, like Seamus Coleman who travel with the Irish squad and stuff like that. Has that been similar to yourself? You travel with the squad when they, when they come over or are you just over to support? I'm um, over to support them. I'm going to meet up. Uh, I spoke to Colin and I'm going to get in and, and see the girls for two two days and just before the Slovakia game to, to mingle in with the girls again and to see them because obviously when you're injured you're missing out on all that and the team bonding and stuff like that. So it'll be nice to see all the girls and, and to see how motivated they are as for Slovakia and the whole game. I'm sure they feel motivated to have you there and then they'll be playing for you as well, having you over to support and stuff like that too. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely nice to be part of the team and they've had a big squad and a lot of young players that are coming up through the ranks and um, it's, it's just nice to be around the team. I, I know that they're motivated enough to, to go and, and to win that game against Slovakia because that's their main priority at the start and once that game's over then they'll look to Holland but we need a big result against Slovakia to, to then carry into the Holland game. Yeah, definitely. In terms of, of women's uh, football in Ireland, what way would you say like we could promote the league a bit better or, is it, or is it, do you feel like there's a way in which we could promote it a bit better or, um, uh, get think, more crowds to games yeah. and stuff like that? I think over the last number of years, it's, it has improved a oh, lot. Rapidly, yeah, 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 it has a lot improved a lot. And uh, since I've left Ireland to go and play in America to then go to England, but it's improved so much. And the, the amount of effort and you know time and stuff put into the women's game now in Ireland through the FAI and through um, groups and stuff has, has definitely improved. But I'd say just social media wise, it's it's a game where obviously the men's team is the men's game is obviously progressed and it's. It's more well known to people, I guess, uh, yeah. more so than the women's game. But yeah, just to keep pro progressing it, um, I'd say social media. And yeah. No, the only reason I'm asking is because obviously you've been to the states and stuff like that, yeah. and I've coached uh, 
soccer over in um, Canada and America, so I know how huge women's soccer is over there. Yeah. I'm just seeing if, because there's definitely a rise over here, I'm just wondering if, if you've seen something that was maybe over there or over in Manchester that's different to kind of, or something that we could do to improve it. Like. Um, well, things like this where you're getting people in and so you're getting players' exposure to to the fans and stuff around Ireland to know that there is women's football in, in Ireland and it is good and it is competitive. Um, but also then, like, posters or doing tournaments that then promote the younger players to then come to the game. So, like, young girls or boys who want to aspire to play in, in, in their games as such um, yeah. and to play in that league, yeah, to just promote it that way. So whether it be through soccer camps or club teams and stuff and trying to get them going in groups and I think that's how you're going to grow the fans. Yeah, well, there's definitely been like a, a rise in, in terms of women's football, definitely. It's, it's the last, let's say, two to three years, definitely. It's, it's really starting to flow and in terms of the FAO and stuff like that, yeah. I'm really pushing um, women's football and the highlights and stuff like that, even on their social media, Instagram, Twitter and stuff. It's uh, really pushing it out there and it's great to see because we're trying to do it ourselves. Like, uh, we were at the under-21s game the other night and we were covering some, some players that maybe the general public wouldn't know and the Irish always like. Yeah. And you know, and the same with the League of Ireland. It's, it's, you're seeing all these things on the radio, but you're not seeing these faces put to the to the voices. Like mm -hmm. So now, it, with this channel, like for example, it's giving the opportunity for people to see these players too. And it, a chance for people to get recognised when they're out and about if they're not known by people, you know? Yeah, definitely, I agree. It's definitely important to bring up the, the girls who don't have that or as such high profile as some of the other players within the national teams, definitely. Yeah, now this this um, exclusive coverage now for the next couple of games, I, I'd say, would you say that's definitely a bonus and it kind of shows how much, it, it, there is that much of a rise now. Yeah, it's such a big step, I think, for Air Sport to come in and to want to televise two of our games, you know, it's never happened in Ireland before and so for us it's, it's a great privilege to be part of that squad and part of that team who are making those changes within uh, women's football in Ireland and hopefully it continues to grow. Yeah, and they're making history as well, the, the women's team as well. Um, just in terms of the games, how do you how do you see them going without being too biased? Um, well, I'm very hopeful that we'll get a, a good result against Slovakia. You know, they're a solid team and they're very physical, but I think our technical ability should outshine them. Um, it's never going to be easy because they, they want one over on us now that we've beat them at home in their ground. And yeah, any international They football. need to win to stay involved. Um, but I think uh, we'll hopefully outshine them in, uh, in Tallah Stadium on Friday night. Um, so hope everyone turns out at 5 p.m. Yeah, make the sure girls. you're there. You can say yeah. to either camera there, but uh, make sure you're there at the game. Also, follow Megan on Instagram. What's your channel? It's MegCam10. So follow, I'll put the link in the description. Um, Megan, thanks very much for coming on. It's been an absolute pleasure. Uh, you. Wish you all the best in your recovery and hope to see you on the pitch soon. Thank you, appreciate that. Uh, guys, if you like this video, um, drop a like on it, don't forget to subscribe, and uh, if you want to be alerted, click the bell for notifications. Thank you very much for watching Irish Football Fan TV, have a lovely Easter weekend.